Hello, I'm Ryan Methy, the Athletic Director at Greater New Bedford Volk Tech. We're extremely excited to be able to run a five-week conditioning program for our student athletes this summer. It's been far too long since our athletes have been able to utilize our campus. With that said, it's going to be extremely important that all administration, coaches, parents and guardians, and student athletes are on board and willing to do their part so we can offer a safe and productive conditioning program for our student athletes. In this video, we'll discuss the responsibilities of each party and walk through how the program is going to be run starting Monday, July 20th. We are asking everyone to enter campus through the Ashley Boulevard entrance. After entering campus, please take your first left into our main parking lot. At this point, we will ask all students to remain in their vehicle until a coach comes to the parking lot to let them know their session will be beginning. Once exiting their vehicles, students remaining six feet apart will make their way towards the Jeff E. Riley Stadium. They will cross the U and continue straight Students will make their way past the field house doors and continue straight until they find our two sign-in tables. Students with the first names A through J will line up to the table at the right. Students with first names beginning with K through Z will line up at the table to the left. At the sign-in tables, student athletes will need their permission form for summer conditioning and their COVID-19 waiver signed by their parent or guardian. We will also be asking five COVID-19 symptom questions from the National Federation of High School Sports Return to Athletics guidelines. Any student that does not have the two forms signed or is exhibiting any of the symptoms from the questions asked will not be allowed to participate in the conditioning session. At sign-in, students will also receive a sticker with two digits on it. The first digit will be the group they're in, and the second digit will be the number they are within that group. If there is a line at the sign-in table, we ask students to use the orange dots placed on the floor in front of the tables that are six feet apart to remain socially distant. After leaving the sign-in table, we ask each student to use the hand sanitizer placed at the end of the sign-in tables before entering the stadium. As students enter the stadium, they will notice signs designating each group. Group one will be located as soon as students enter and groups two, three, four, and five will be located down the left side of the field in that order. Once at their group, students will need to find a cone that matches this sticker they received at sign-in. Cones are placed diagonally 15 feet apart and are in numerical order as their students make their way onto the football field. Once students find their cone, they will wait there until the program starts. The program will be run by our head strength and conditioning coach, Sam Heavey, and will consist of body weight movements and conditioning along with light equipment. Assisting with the program will be our head football coach, Justin Cruz, assistant football coach, Eddie Jewell, assistant football and head boys lacrosse coach, Justin Walker, assistant girls soccer coach, Jennifer Racine, assistant volleyball coach, Jasmine Burris, and assistant cheerleading coach, Lauren Arbertine. At the conclusion of the session, Coach Heavey will dismiss the groups, starting with group one. We ask that when students are exiting the field, they refrain from any type of physical contact with another student, including hugs, high fives, or fist bumps. Students will exit via the gate directly in front of the overhead door of the field house and will make their way 
around the right side of the field house, closest to the baseball field. Students will continue down this path and exit via the gates at the end of the field house. We ask that as students exit, they use one of the four hand sanitizer stations before exiting the facility. At this point, it will be extremely important that all student athletes exit the facility immediately. No loitering can take place anywhere on campus. The main responsibility for administration and coaches is to provide a safe environment for our student athletes to participate in. Each session will have three of our certified coaches along with a full-time custodian to ensure that the area and any equipment used is clean for each session. Also, we want to try and eliminate the stress and anxiety that our parents and guardians and student athletes might have. Hopefully this video has helped with those anxieties and stresses. But if needed, I've set up Zoom meetings for today, tomorrow, and Sunday from 7 to 7.30 to address any last questions or concerns. Please email me and I will send you the details to log into those meetings. It is gonna be extremely important that our parents and guardians provide transportation for our student athletes so they arrive on time at the beginning of each session and that they have transportation home immediately following the end of their session. We also ask parents and guardians of students with pre-existing medical issues, such as allergies, provide an EpiPen, and asthma provide their pump to their students for each of their sessions. Also, at the first session on Monday, July 20th, parents will need to have their students arrive with both the signed permission form and COVID-19 release waiver at the beginning of those sessions. If you had issues accessing or printing those documents, we will have hard copies on hand Monday if parents need to sign those on site. For our student athletes, we ask that you thoroughly wash your hands before leaving home for your session. Ensure that you have your own water bottle for each session. There's gonna be absolutely zero sharing of water bottles during the conditioning sessions. Come dress for activity. We will be having our conditioning sessions on our turf, which does tend to get much harder than a regular grass surface. So please wear shorts and some type of light t-shirt. And most importantly, make sure if you're not feeling well, do not come to your conditioning session and that you also abide by all social distancing directions given throughout the duration of our sessions. Again, we're extremely excited to be able to offer this conditioning program to our student athletes in the coming weeks. The Greater New Bedford Voc Tech Athletic Department feel this is a perfect opportunity to prove that we can safely offer an athletic program to our student athletes while following the heavy restrictions that are placed on us by the state. We look forward to seeing everybody on Monday, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to email me or join in on the Zoom meetings this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, and Sunday between 7 and 7.30, and hopefully I can answer any of those questions heading into the week. Thank you.